Yesterday, I found a Roblox game simply titled Quicksand. So naturally, I look it over, I see how many people are playing, 10,000 people are playing a game called Quicksand. It looks like a game where all you do is walk into Quicksand and die. That sounds perfect. Right up my alley, right? That sounds like a sketch classic. I go, oh yeah, that's nice. I copy the link and I go to sleep, thinking of all the amazing times I will have tomorrow playing Quicksand game. And then I wake up. And this is what I get. Close. Close. You had 10,000 people playing this game yesterday. Why did you close it? I'm sorry, but I closed the game. Thank you all for playing. I'm not really active anymore and lost interest in this game a while ago, so I don't really feel like holding it up after it got popular all of a sudden. Feel free to play other better games, I guess. Dude. What? What do you mean you don't feel like holding it up? It, it, it's <laughs> Roblox keeps it up for free. There's nothing you need to actively do to keep a game online on Roblox. This is just probably the strangest thing I've ever seen. I, I just... Uh... I just don't understand. The person who made this game is named Viskelisi. I sent them a friend request to hopefully get through to them. To be like, look man, there was a light at the end of the tunnel. Sketch was about to play your game. This was gonna be big, big news. But maybe the owner didn't want that. Maybe they just want to stay anonymous. They don't want a popular game. They don't even like the game to begin with. But I just think it is so silly. Why would you do that? Do you hate free money? You can get money from this. You know that, right? I'm really hoping that they bring this game back. That this was just a heat of the moment thing. Because six hours ago, something happened. And they were just like, that's it. I'm done. There was plenty of kids enjoying dying to quicksand. And you just took that away from them, man. You know, if you had kept it open for a little longer. Enough for me to play the game. I would have had a good time with it and you know i was looking forward to it i'm kind of sad guy now usually i'm happy energetic chaotic guy but you know now i'm just uh shriveled up little raisin and you did this to me <laughs> no i'm kidding uh please open the game would you look at that i found their twitter account with only one follower but it was created two months ago with the exact same name as their roblox account this is a name that i have not seen anywhere else i looked it up on Twitter, this is the only account and the only Roblox account that is these exact characters. I've been waiting, hoping that one day something would change. That one day I would get my opportunity to play the fabled game that I never got the chance to. But it has been 43 days, ladies and gentlemen, and we have seen nothing from the Twitter account. It is seemingly lost to time. We may never know what quicksand actually was even about. Was there even quicksand in the game? It was only rumors. There was no sand, only lies and deceit. And right when I thought everything was over, when I thought that there was no hope left, the community said no. No, this isn't the end. Because if we can't have the original game, we'll make our own game. We will create this masterful game on Roblox.com for everybody to enjoy. And that's where this guy comes into play. Earl Mix. He knew that he had to bring the people what they needed. No what they deserved. And this is why he made a fan-made version of the game. Now we finally get to see what the vision here was. The overnight sensation quicksand that made a developer go mad and erase his or her work from the internet. Never to be seen again. This is that game. Well, it's not that game, but it's a game that it's like the game. How is this person picking me up right now? No, please. Why are you doing this to me? Please, no, I don't want to go. Please, please, what did you throw me in? What was that? Liquid mire. What is that? It's killing me. All my slimes from the streets. Hello? I'm slowly turning into goop. Tell my story. Don't let them forget about me. This is just like those uh, YouTube challenges. What if I only walk in like a little bit and then, um, wait, I can't, I can't jump. Oh, okay. Whew. Oh yeah, that's sticky. That stuff's sticky right there. You know what? Hot tar is surprisingly easy to escape from. We are you. You are me. <laughs> we have become one with the mud. Sorry, this is mud. Now we are really mud people. Oh wait, the mud doesn't kill you. You don't sink all the way in. You just go up to like your chin. If you give yourself to the mud, the mud will give itself to you. I'm like the peanut butter baby meme. Bah. <laughs> what is this? Quicksand? That's not even that quick. I can escape that. Real quicksand, you wouldn't be able to escape from. But this, I just, I just stroll right out of that. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>
Whoa, what happened? I've been saved. An angel came from the sky and saved me. Oh, wait, no, this guy's just picking me up. What is that? I don't want to go over there. You can't make me go in the sand butthole. I don't want to go. Okay, Lily, you are my test subject. Literally just a hole. Yeah, this should do. This should do just fine. Lily? Jungle quicksand? Whoa, this is quick. Oh, that's sticky. What is the oobleck? Dude, this is just like a pit of Pepto-Bismo. No, oh, don't put me back in. You went to pick me up just to put me back in. Jello. Ooh, Jello bath. Yo, Jello is pretty dangerous. But I don't think anything is going to be as dangerous as literal lava. Does this just set you on fire? Oh, no. It doesn't set you on fire. It just kills you. Honey. Stop grabbing me. Yeah, put me in the bog. Now I feel at home. The bog is crazy. Yo, dude, I'm slipping. These guys won't let me die, man. They just keep fishing my corpse out of these pits of mud. All right, we got snow. Snow looks pretty cool. This is not really how snow works. You know, whatever. I'm Frosty the Snowman. Soap? This doesn't look like soap. Oh my God, don't go in the soap. Don't go in the soap. This is bad. But at least I'm clean. I would not have expected that soap is the deadliest substance in this entire game. Wet mud's bad too. Yikes. And what is this? Dense webbing. Dense webbing's not that bad. I've seen worse. Don't grab me. I'll grab you, bro. Go to wet mud. Throw him in there. Don't let him leave either. Nobody escapes the soap. You might be able to escape the wet mud, but soap, no one escapes soap. What? How am I walking on soap right now? Before, I couldn't even, like, turn around to escape. And now I'm just walking on top of it. This makes no sense. I'm invincible. I somehow got glitched and now I can't sink into anything. Come on guys, get in the soap. The soap is so fun. Look at you don't even fall in. Come on, see? <laughs> How? Soap is super safe. Super safe, dude, trust me. Trust me, dude. Help, help. <laughs> Put him in the pig sauce. No, look at even the pit, I can't fall in. Oh wait, oh no. <laughs> What happened? They took my invincibility away. Even though this game was so simple and the journey to get here was so long and strenuous, I actually do enjoy this game. Like, it's pretty much exactly what I thought it was going to be, which just makes it all the more confusing why the original creator didn't want people to play it and just deleted it. I mean, it's not the end of the world. Obviously, I don't want to throw hate towards the person. Miskelacy, I don't want to, you know, it's like, it's whatever. It's their decision. But hey, at least our boy Earl Mix came through and created a version that was worthy worthy of the title quicksand because it has quicksand in it we can finally put this case to rest What are you bringing me? What are you bringing me? Not the pink sauce. Hey! Hey! No! No!